In this video, we're diving into 7 powerful ways to slash proteinuria by over 43% yes, you heard that right. And one of them is a centuries-old remedy that doesn't just lower protein in the urine, it also brings down creatinine levels. Today we're flipping the script on how kidney disease is treated. While conventional medicine often gives patients little more than a countdown to dialysis, China took a different route. Instead of waiting for change, they went back way back to the year 739 AD and dusted off a remedy from the Tang Dynasty. Sounds wild, but here's the kicker, it worked. In just 24 weeks, real kidney patients saw proteinuria drop by more than 43% and creatinine fall by over 16%. Incredible, right? Now, you might be thinking, it's a Chinese study probably biased, small sample, poor quality. This was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled human trial the gold standard of medical research. With 203 CKD patients and published in a top-tier peer-reviewed medical journal, this is legit science. This is the kind of breakthrough we need to pay attention to. But before I show you the exact remedy they used and where you can get it, go ahead like the video, subscribe, drop a comment, and share it with everyone on your... So, what is this incredible remedy? It's called Wenshenyang Decoction. Now, I might have totally butchered that pronunciation so apologies to Chinese speakers, and also to English speakers for all the words I've mispronounced in English. Now, back to the remedy. Wen Shenyang decoction is an ancient herbal formula that's been refined into a modern therapeutic blend. It's built around three key ingredients, chestnut and natural kidney tonic known to boost energy. Epimedium sagittatum, also called horny goat weed. In traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, it's used to warm the kidneys, but in biomedical terms, it acts as a vasodilator, improving blood flow to your kidneys. Daria rasi, primarily used to support bone health, but also considered a kidney strengthening herb. This formula is typically used to treat what's known in TCM as kidney yang deficiency. Now don't let the terminology scare you this isn't mystical nonsense. Kidney yang deficiency refers to symptoms like chronic fatigue, swelling, edema, and low energy basically signs of anemia and fluid imbalance. That's why this formula works so well. Remember, different cultures describe illness in different ways, but the symptoms of kidney disease are universal. Wherever you are in the world, CKD looks the same. Now, before you get excited and start tossing herbs into a pot, let me stop you right there, don't DIY this. Always consult a qualified TCM practitioner to ensure it's safe and compatible with your current treatment plan. Here's something else from the study that's fascinating and kind of mind-blowing. Even the placebo group in the study showed significant improvement a 20% drop in creatinine and over 6% reduction in proteinuria. And they weren't even taking the real herbs. No, it's not because they believe themselves better. The placebo effect doesn't usually pack this kind of punch. What actually happened was simple and important, they finally started receiving proper medical care. That includes managing their diabetes, blood pressure, anemia, and other overlooked complications. So yes, the real discovery here might not even be the herbal remedy. It's this, Western medicine works when it's actually used. Groundbreaking, right? Turns out when doctors actively treat patients, they tend to improve. That brings us to the second big takeaway. If you want to protect your kidneys, Stay on top of the basics manage your blood sugar, keep your BP below 130 over 80, and don't ignore anemia, metabolic acidosis, or other related conditions. Because the reality is, many CKD patients aren't getting the care they need. They're stuck on old plans, vague diets, 
or worse being told to wait until things get worse. Alright, let's keep this going. I've got 6 more super simple and powerful ways to help lower your creatinine starting today. Coming in at number 3, Antioxidant Therapy. This one's a game changer. Antioxidants aren't just an optional extra, they're absolutely essential for protecting your kidneys. I recommend them to everyone, whether you're just googling is creatinine bad? Or you're deep into stage 5 CKD? Why? Because they work. Antioxidants don't just slow down kidney damage they can help preserve and even improve function. That's not hype, that's science. Remember that one Shenyang formula we just talked about? One reason it works so well is because it's loaded with antioxidant-rich herbs. That antioxidant power is one of its secret weapons. So, what are the top antioxidants you can start using now? You don't need to visit some ancient herbal shop under moonlight. Just head to a decent supplement store and look for the proven ones. Coke 10, NAC, vitamins C and E, selenium, zinc. These are some of the most science-backed antioxidants available. And yes, the right doses matter. When taken properly, these can make a measurable difference. Now, while I only recommend formulas like when Shenyang to a select few under professional supervision, antioxidant therapy, this is something I believe every CKD patient should be doing period. Moving on to number 4, one of the easiest ways to instantly help your kidneys. Drink more water. Dehydration can make your creatinine look worse than it really is. Even mild dehydration can falsely raise your levels, making you panic over labs that are just showing a temporary imbalance. Worse, dehydration puts your kidneys in full crisis mode. They start hoarding toxins like creatinine, urea, potassium, basically everything they're supposed to be filtering out. Imagine asking your kidneys to take out the trash, but giving them no bags, no gloves, and locking all the exits. Not going to happen. And long term? Chronic dehydration can actually cause kidney damage. In fact, it's one of the leading causes of acute kidney injury. Bottom line, stay hydrated. Forget the old 8 cups a day rule new research suggests most of us need more than that, especially in hot weather or after activity. But here's the radical part, don't obsess over exact numbers. Just be consistent. Keep a water bottle next to your bed, in your car, on your desk wherever you'll actually use it. Your kidneys will reward you by filtering better and stressing less. Important exception, if you're in stage 4 or 5 CKD or on dialysis, and you've been given a fluid restriction, follow it strictly. Treat your doctor's guidance like sacred law it's there to protect you. Alright, let's keep the momentum going. Number 5, Probiotics. Now, I know this one might not sound all that exciting but don't underestimate it. The impact probiotics can have on your kidneys is huge. Most people don't realize just how powerful they are in the fight against CKD. A brand new study, published April 22, 2025, in the Journal of Renal Nutrition, revealed something striking. The more probiotics you consume, the lower your risk of developing CKD. Especially if you have diabetes more probiotics, less CKD risk. This study followed 2,665 people over 9 years so yes, we're talking about real, solid data. So, what should you do with this info? Start taking a quality probiotic supplement. Why? Because probiotics help balance your gut microbiota reduce harmful uremic toxins like endoxyl sulfate, and can even support lower creatinine levels over time. There are special renal probiotics on the market made specifically for kidney patients, 
but even a high-quality general probiotic can help. Just be careful with marketing hype. If your probiotic promises to grow your hair, make you lose 20 pounds, and find you a soulmate, all at once it's probably trying too hard. Stick to one mission, gut health for better kidneys. Now on to number 6 and this one might be the fastest way to lower your creatinine, lose weight, if you need to. Being overweight puts a huge strain on your kidneys. It raises glomerular pressure, increases inflammation, and worsens blood sugar control, especially if you're managing diabetes. It's like forcing your kidneys to work overtime, every night, without a break, or even a coffee. But when you lose weight, it's like giving your kidneys a long overdue vacation. You get lower blood pressure, less proteinuria, better glucose control, and yes a noticeable drop in creatinine. This isn't wishful thinking. Weight loss has a direct, measurable impact on kidney function. Many patients report significant improvements in their GFR and creatinine after shedding extra pounds. Honestly, those success stories are more uplifting than 90% of motivational Instagram quotes. And the benefits go beyond lab numbers, better diabetes control, less fluid retention, and bonus it can make regular exercise easier. And we all know exercise is another powerful tool for protecting kidney health. So, if you've been meaning to lose weight, let this be your motivation, do it for your kidneys. It's one of the most effective, side-effect-free strategies out there aside from needing to buy new, smaller clothes. Up next, number 7 and this one is a triple threat. It can help with weight loss, gut health, and kidney protection. What is it? Fiber. Specifically, a fiber supplement. Yep, it's really that simple and that powerful. Science shows a strong inverse correlation between fiber intake and the speed of kidney decline. In other words, the more fiber you consume, the slower your kidney function drops. In fact, some research even suggests that increasing fiber might actually improve kidney function and help lower creatinine. Fiber might be the only thing in life that actually delivers on its promises. It's the dependable friend who shows up on moving day, not the one who fakes a cough and disappears. So how does it work? According to a review in the Clinical Kidney Journal, fiber supports your gut microbiome, reduces inflammation, and helps clear out uremic toxins including creatinine. Other studies confirm, more fiber equals fewer toxins. Now ideally, you'd get all your fiber from whole foods. That's always step one. But let's be real, most kidney patients don't. And that's not a judgment, it's just the data. With potassium restrictions and dietary confusion, most people barely hit half the recommended daily fiber intake. That's where fiber supplements come in. Think of it as an easy way to give your kidneys a daily dose of love. But which fiber is best? Good question and I've got you covered with one of my signature comparison tables. It breaks down the pros and cons of two of the most researched fiber supplements, psyllium husk and acacia fiber. Spoiler alert, both are great, but they shine in different ways. Psyllium husk. This is the overachiever of the fiber world. It helps with cholesterol, diabetes, weight loss, gut health and more. I typically recommend it to people looking to shed extra pounds or manage blood sugar and lipid levels. However and this is important I don't recommend psyllium for patients in the advanced stages of CKD. Why? Because it requires a lot of extra water to be effective and safe, and fluid overload is a real concern at that stage. Acacia Fiber Here's where acacia fiber shines. While it doesn't have all the multitasking benefits of psyllium, it's much safer for those in later stages of CKD. It requires minimal water, is easier on the gut, 
and still provides powerful kidney-protecting benefits. So yes, you can take both, but I prefer a tailored approach based on your stage and goals. Your kidneys will thank you. Now, let's move on to number 8 the final and perhaps most important tip. If you asked me to name the one thing that can benefit every CKD patient, at every stage, no matter the cause something that supports blood pressure, diabetes, proteinuria, and can make or break your kidney function. I'd say this, hands down, the proper renal diet. Not a trendy diet. Not a guesswork plan. A science-backed, plant-based, low-protein, low-phosphorus eating pattern. This is the foundation. The non-negotiable. Because you can't out-supplement a bad diet not even with magic herbs from the Tang Dynasty. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, God bless you all. Bye-bye.